Hello. Is there such a thing as Happy Memorial Day? But not sure. But I wish that for you that whatever you plan for today, that it works out good. Um, because of different circumstances, I'm by myself. But I thought this would be a good time for me to to visit my husband's gravesite because when he passed away, it was icy and. There's no stone out there, no marker or anything. And I've been putting it, putting it off. And so I thought today would be a good day for me to do that. So I went to Streck and Van Til. And, uh, and I just got some artificial flowers to stick in the ground. It's not the ones I wanted. This one's in a vase. And I was afraid it was not going to be all that stable. But um, it does have a little sticker thing that goes in the ground. So um, I'll sit down and talk to you a minute. As I think I mentioned before, I have I have a hard time with direction. It's just unreal. I get so upset with myself, and I just been uh, kind of weepy. Anyways, all right, so I went and I got the flowers in, and then I got turned around, which is right by me. I got turned around going to the cemetery plot. And then um, when I got there, I don't want you to see my eyes. <laughs> the entrance, you know, there was a um, security guard and, and he said, do, do you live here? And, and Crown Point, and I said, yeah. Well, I guess there was a parade going through there right to where the entrance was going to be, where I'm going to the cemetery. So I got through there, and um, then there was a, I had to make a turn on this little dirt road into the cemetery. And then there was a man in a walker right in front of me. So it was a slow entrance to get in there. And uh, there was a lot of people there, and the the road there was li lined before I turned in, lined with people waiting for the parade, which I didn't have no idea it was going to be. But uh, there were just people all over inside the cemetery, and it's such a small road, and they're all pulled off trying to get around. Nothing's marked. Absolutely nothing's marked. And he doesn't have, because he just passed it January 13th. And the weather was so bad, it was so icy, and I was just getting over COVID, and I called and asked them to just pick out the plot for me. You know, I I knew, the, kind of knew the man through some friends, and and uh, he was kind enough that he said he would do that. And uh, so I didn't even know where it was at. So I've been driving all over the stupid cemetery. <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh. But I can't. I couldn't find it. So, I thought, all right, I'll just do it tomorrow. Larry would have told me just to go home. My husband, he would have just said, forget about it. Not important. But anyways, so I came home. I ate a sandwich. I thought I'd say hello to you. I thought I'd do it without crying. But all right. So yesterday, I did do something fun. I went with my sister-in-law. It was strange. She, she, her and I were married to brothers. She was married to um, the younger brother, and I was married to the older brother. And uh, they both had a, a drinking problem, and both of us were divorced from them. And um, but her and I sometimes it goes years that we don't see each other, maybe. And then when we do see each other, it's like, like it was just yesterday. So I was really down in the dumps yesterday, just like I felt, I was feeling really lonely. And um, I thought, I'll give Linda a call. And um, so I know she loves Downton Abbey and I seen it was playing at the theater. Well, I sure as heck wasn't gonna go by myself. I've never done that, although, I did see a lady there by herself, but uh, I said, uh, 
And I thought, sure, Linda had already seen Downton Abbey because she loves it. And I said, Linda, have you, have you seen Downton Abbey? I just messaged her and she said, no. I was thinking, I go, do you want to go? To go today? And she goes, okay. And um, so anyways, we, she, pick, she picked me up and we went to the theater and watched Downton Abbey. And uh, I don't want to do a spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, but the end, someone dies. And they had the funeral and the procession. <laughs> that made me start, you know, getting real weepy again, which I didn't want to do. But, okay, then we went to Olive Garden and uh, we had the soup, the big toss salads that we shared and, and soup and, and uh, the, the bread, Italian bread. And so that was really nice. And she came back here when we came in the house and uh, sat and talked for a while, had a little visit. So that was that was nice. I needed that. I had to get, had my n nose to the grindstone too much. So anyways, I think I came home. I think what I'm gonna do is start putting, uh, might start putting my flowers into the pots. And I did get a couple cushions if you'd like to see. I, I got them from Aldi's because my cushions were like this. <laughs> and I should have got the third one, but I like I didn't want to spend the money for a third one, so I got these two. And I see something's coming off the trees here, or is it? Yeah, I think that's part of the design. And the flowers that that Corey got me, uh, this was Larry's son, Corey. It was my son, I consider him. But anyways, he bought these for me. And uh, I thought that these kind of was in the same color scheme, like the begonias. See, the begonias are in that color scheme, kind of a coral. So I got to take this out, dig a hole, put some potting soil in all of these, and get these in the ground. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, ladies, this was a short one. Here I am in my shorts. <laughs> And it's very nice, very, it's, it's back, I think it's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be um, 88 today, I think. So, God bless all of you. And Lord, uh, comfort the hearts of all the people who are watching who have lost a loved one. And there's, I wish my sister was living close. We could hit all the places today. I mean, the cemeteries and stuff where my son and is buried and it seems like everybody's scattered. I, I think, I thought maybe years ago they had like family plots, but it was so nice, right? Where you could just go see all of them in one place. But you know, now we're, you have to drive all over. But um, my parents and my brothers and, but God bless you. One day in heaven, there'll be no weeping or crying, no more death.